Uncle Crowley. It's gonna kill me every time. You're welcome. He's nervous. He's definitely nervous, guys. Airport! And be careful with the bags, they're antiquities. Oh, hey! Yes! No. Favourite outfit for, for Dean there. I nearly said Jensen. I don't suppose you're here to thank me for removing the mark of Cain, which, by the way, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's just take things up a notch. What do you say? I think you'd know by now, Samuel. These things don't hold me long. I just need to hold you long enough. Well, they do say blondes have more fun. To pull up information on a car, select search box, type in violations. <laughs> Fortune Nookie, your premier website for all your Asian girl fantasies. <laughs> We have hundreds of lovely girls just waiting to chat with you 24 hours a day. You tried, Cass. <laughs> what could Fortune Nookie be? Uh-oh. Impetus bestiarum. Cassio. <laughs> Don't! Deli malum <laughs> Good, evil, heaven, hell, people. It all seems so unimportant. Well, I don't know that I'd say that. I don't think you're seeing the big picture. Meaning what exactly? Guess what, Uncle Crowley? I'm hungry. Again, greedy girl. Mind the undergarments, the Samuel. Too. Imported, of course. Where is it? Where's what, dear? The book. The of the book. The Book of the Damned. The Codex is in there, but the book is not. So where the hell is it? Do you take me for a fool? Like I'd run around with those two spectacularly powerful items anywhere in proximity. Well, now we've got the Codex. And Charlie's code breaking. So the book isn't as useful to you as it was. Or so you hope. That's what I admire in you, Samuel. That plucky optimism. That plucky... Stupid optimism. Sam, why don't you go grab Cass so Florence Nightingale here can do her stuff? She's not gonna just do that though. You do recall our deal, eh? First I despell the angel, then I go free. Hmm. Except for one thing. There were no exceptions in our arrangement. The book. I'm gonna need that baby back. The book was never mentioned in our negotiations. Well, now it is. Our deal says. Our deal says whatever I want it to say. You're gonna play by my rules. Because I have your son on speed dial. Call him. If I'm dead, you've got a big fat pile of nothing. No book. Ever. And your friend with the bent halo, he goes foaming at the mouth mad and dies. Your turn. <laughs> oh, for we know. You are a piece of work. So burdened. What happened precisely when I removed the mark? The book wasn't specific. Yes, I read quite a bit of it. What new hell has Dean Winchester unleashed upon the world? Hey. Yeah. Hey, I can't find Cass. What? He's not there. He 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 broke free. He's gone. Great. So they finally get Rowena. Cass is gone. Oh, his eyes are back as well. It looks so painful. I need you to stop overfeeding her. But you said to give her whatever she wants, whenever she wants it. Well, now I'm saying something different, aren't I? Yes. We don't want a generation of entitled, pudgy kids, do we? No, we do not. So, simply inform her that we're cutting back on her soul food. That uh, it's the healthier choice. You want me to tell her this? You are her nanny, aren't you? Well... Because if you're not the nanny, then what are you? Oh, I know. Roasting on a spit until the end of time. Jeez. 
You wouldn't think a road trip with two such strapping lads could be this tedious. Shall we have a wee sing song? No! I've myself to blame. I should never make deals with Winchesters, since they seem unable to hold up their end of the bargain. Meaning what? Oh, just that thing between Sam Crowley and myself. What? What you talking about? Oh, surely you knew Sam made a deal with me to kill my son if I removed the mark of Cain from your arm. <laughs> well, is the mark gone? Yes. Is Crowley dead? No. Oh, he didn't know? He didn't know? Look, I was gonna tell you. Obviously, nothing ever came of it, so I, oh, I figured there was no point, you know? No point, huh? I, I mean, I see what Dean's saying. <laughs> Your wee pal Castiel wouldn't be in this pickle if you'd done what you promised. I would have had no reason to cast that attack dog spell if Crowley were already dead. Excellent point. It's not my point. Sam knows my point. Keyword secrets. Oh, Dean, come on, you're keeping secret as well. Come on. All right, he's got to be around here somewhere, so I'll head up the street. You guys head the other way. Are you joking? I'm in heels. <laughs> um, look how tiny she is. Cast the slowest ever run. The slowest runner ever. Terrifying. I never thought Cass would look scary like that. Don't do this. Okay, this isn't you, it's the spell. You can beat this. Yes. Let her go. Go, 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 go. I love that Dean can talk him down. It's gonna be okay, buddy, all right? Do I need to remind you, these are witch-killing bullets. Finish it! Yes, yes, all right. Ad levo onus tomb. Yes. 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 Hey. Right, so she's done it then. Come on, come on. Oh. Hey. Permit to tell him. Hey. She's gonna no. trap the hey. bird. I'm sure you had every intention of honouring our deal. But why take chances? There aren't words. You're right, there aren't words. Cash, okay, because there's no need. You were under a spell, it's fine. Yeah, but you had Rowena. Because of me, you... You know, Kiss. we've got the Codex. That's a start, you know, it'll slow Rowena down some. If we killed her, the Book of the Damned would have been lost. Besides, we got bigger fish to fry. The darkness. What does she want? Well, the big question is, where the hell is she? Uh, Dean, I can fix that. No, 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 it's fine. Why would you say no? You'd just be like, 
Thank you. He wants to feel punished for what he's done. Second nanny down now. Yep. Oh, and she's grown again. Amara? I'm hungry. Of course, puppet. But tell you what, maybe we should have a chat first. I said, I'm hungry. Well, we have a spoiled brat on our hands. Ugh. Okay, so that was another episode down. I felt like that one slowed a little bit, which is completely fine. Can't expect them all to be 100% intense every time. We still got a decent episode considering all the exploration of Cass and him saving Cass and Rowena and what she's been up to, trying to make this like mega coven, which is hilarious. We also got to see her growing yet again. So obviously each time she changes, I'm guessing she needs more and more souls. So this version that we've got now, this like teen version, she's gonna need to consume more souls than what the younger version of, because the baby only consumed one and she grew. So yeah, it's scary the amount of souls that she's gonna consume to get to her end form, which is the, I'm assuming the, the chick that Dean had a face off with. So Crowley just keeps providing all of these souls for her. And, and my guess is that he's doing that so that he's gonna form trust with her and maybe once she is in her final form, she will be an ally then. He's definitely scared of her. You, you can see the nerves when he, he's dealing with her. He's losing his people left, right and centre by feeding them to her. He's going to end up with no one left. I hope he's thought this through. So Rowena cured Cass, but then locked them away and off she went. I mean, they got out clearly there. They were back in the bunker. But what her plan is now, I don't know. I'm assuming she's just going to continue to recruit and get this coven going. Now they have the codex now, but she still has the Book of the Dam, which she's locked away safe, obviously. She'd be stupid not to. And that will be a leverage to keep going so that they don't kill her. We didn't find out anything more about the Reapers and death in this one, but surely that's building in the background along with like the heaven and hell rumours that are going around as well. Cass has so much knowledge, doesn't he? He's been around for that long. He has so much knowledge and he's heard of the darkness and everyone seems to have heard of the darkness. But it's all fairy tales to them. They think that it's all just a lie, just scare people. And Dean knows for a fact that that is not the case. It is indeed true. He's still refusing to open up and discuss what the darkness said to him, which is really infuriating. And it's gonna come out, especially with Crowley knowing that they have the bond as well. So that's a matter of time, I think. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry if my energy hasn't been as full on in this episode. I did have a really rough night. I'm trying to wean Grayson at the minute and it, it's not going too well. So I'm not sleeping too well. So I apologize for that. Plus I'm trying to cram as much in as I possibly can because uh, childcare has been an issue for this. A couple of weeks so it's going to be a push getting my content out there and juggling work and such so again i apologize but i'm hoping that i will get the content out to you nonetheless thank you all for watching please give this video a cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe you know if you want to but there's no pressure here i have all the links in the description below so check those out thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all again soon for the next one bye guys